Um, this game reminded me of a game a year ago when we played a really talented Southern team and uh, had a nice cushion. And it was the first time our ball club last year got put back on their heels for a minute or two. And I thought tonight, uh, with a comfortable lead, we missed some free throws in the heart of the game. And we got back on our heels for about two or three minutes. Uh, the best news was we knocked in 11 straight free throws to end the game, and that's how you win games. We defensively rebounded the ball as well as you can on the defensive board. <coughs> and I had uh, a lot of worries about this team because I knew they were well coached. They beat a good Air Force team on the road. And we had played at Florida against Nobles. He started for Arkansas back-to-back -back years in the SEC. He's a load. And probably us adjusting and going to the zone to keep him out of the lane helped us those last six or seven minutes. But some pluses on the board, you know, for us to become a better team, we're going to have to get rebounding like we did defensively from Cook and Nance. We have to get that. And we did back-to-back -back games. And the other interesting statistic tonight, you know, we had a freshman guard named Adams and a sophomore guard named Grable last year. They played against probably 10 games against top 15 teams in America. I never can remember them uh, playing a ball game and having 10 turnovers. So we will get better. They will get better. And I thought that uh, that was an interesting statistic because those guys are pretty steady. Yes. One last comment. Granberry and Hankerson, uh, they're getting closer to what I expected and what I had seen in the past. They're getting in better shape. They're looking closer to what they looked like a couple of years ago. That's a good thing for the Cowboys. It's one of those games where you, you, know, you always want to get to the free throw line. You certainly did, but they made, what, I think six more shots and got attempted 24 more shots from the field. But is that maybe what we may see for a lot from this team if you're trying to tack and, and get to the line where we may see stat lines a lot like that down the road? Well, you know, the old coach is trying to adjust to these new rules too, as many coaches are. And uh, never did I think we would squeeze zone defense out like we have in three or four of these games. But we are an attack team, and I think Solby, I think uh, uh, Junior Hankerson, I think Josh Adams, and even Riley at different times, they attack the rack pretty well. And we need to continue to do that because not only of the rules, I think it plays into um, us being a better offensive team. Um, I just think free throws, I think everybody's noticing now, whether it's fans, players, coaches, and media, they're noticing how important they are and how important they can be in both wins and losses nationally. Larry, is, is still some concern, the fact that you went through a couple stretches, first half and second half, where you struggled getting field goals? And... Uh, no, if, if we're going to the foul line, I like that better than, uh, than making baskets because it, 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 it creates two things. It creates easier, what they're called free throws, nobody can guard you. And, and then it also puts good players on the other team behind the eight ball. So, you know, I'd like to knock in some threes every once in a while. I think Grabo is the only one that did today besides Nance's. But those will come. I like this team. Uh, I don't think we're a finished product by any stretch. But, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys back. So I want them to develop a level of arrogance. And the only way you can do that is to continue to attack Coach, uh, Derek Cook just talked about you guys working on 50-50 balls as far as rebounds and practice a lot. I mean, how important is that tonight, guys swarming into the ball and for rebounds when, when it's up in the air? It's very important. I'm glad he brought that up. He's a good student uh, because we can't win important games this year unless our littles and our bigs all gravitate to the defensive glass. I'm not overly interested in offensive rebounds. I don't even know if we got any tonight. Uh, I am far more interested, if we can get 75% of the defensive boards in our games, that'll finish one, two, three in our league, and we'll win a lot of games. We have to get defensive rebounds. How big is that for Cook to do that back-to-back double-digit games for you doing that? I mean, I don't know if that's something you can always expect, but for, you know, for him to be that productive for you, how you mentioned it's going to be important for everyone to rebound, but especially if he can come in and give you that, how important no, would that be? It's really important for our team. You know, everybody wants to be the best of something. 
And what you have to find out is what can you be the best at? DC, we need to lead us in defensive boards. We need that bad. We need them to front the post. He did a great job back-to-back -back nights against two pretty good players. And we need his progress to continue. Each guy's got a role. They may not love that role, but they need to cherish it, and they need to improve at it. And that's partially our coaching staff's job, is to identify those roles as we get deeper into the season. What do you have to see out of your team on uh, Friday against South Dakota to feel comfortable going to Ohio State? I didn't even know we had a game after South Dakota, but South Dakota has a really good big kid, really good kid that's hurt us two years ago badly, and we're going to have to have our preparation for them. I've not watched until tomorrow morning. I've not watched any of their games yet, but they've been off for 11 days, so they're going to come in here pretty fresh. Um, it's a good matchup. We play them twice. Um, we just got to get better. That's the focal point I said to the team. You have a day off, do the right stuff in school, get yourself some rest, and come back with the attitude that our team needs to get better. Let's put the team ahead of any individual. Will you elaborate a little bit on what you said about Iran and Utah? 